When it comes to materials, the fastest way to add materials is through the Alt-M menu. Whenever you bring it up, there is an option that will hide dot names, which will not list things like decals, which use the dot name format. But the main things I want to talk about is how you can get in here and just quickly add a material. You can also add a glass material by shift clicking the option, which can come in handy for things like rendering. But you can also add an emissive material. So if we look at this, alt clicking it will add an emissive material. But if we go into render mode, you can actually see that it is a pulsing emissive material. So it is that easy to create a pulsing material inside of hard ops. Now, the good thing about it is that in the F9 panel, you can actually just click on the option over and over to reshuffle the color of the randomness that you're going for. Uh, we can take this shape, uh, we'll put a bevel on it so it looks a little better. And if we hit it with a blank material, we can just click on it over and over to just see what iterations of blank material we can get. When it comes to materials, clicking through the F9 is one level of dealing with things. However, the next level is material scroll. By control clicking material scroll, you can actually scroll through random iterations of materials that haven't yet been created and find the perfect material for whatever you're trying to shade. This is alternative to basically regular clicking it where you just scroll through the materials that are already present. I'm just scrolling through the metal, the emissive, and the glass at this point. But controls clicking it will allow you to scroll through infinite combinations. And there's more to it. You can also, of course, press T to scroll through car paint, which will give you random car paint iterations of material. You can scroll through random emissive materials, which use a completely different system than the emissive material I was showing you through blank material. You can also press T and go back to emissive. And the cool thing about this one is you can also press C and also inject color into the principal shader that you're generating if you're going for more of a fun color. Uh, in the Alt menu, notice that Alt M menu, notice that as I'm adding materials, this list gets bigger. There's more that you can do with materials than just that. For example, if I wanted to give every single one of these a unique material, I could just press Alt M and Control click blank material to just give each of these a blank material that is just unique to it. And I do this a lot just to look at what type of random materials are being generated in mass and I'll just look at them and evaluate them. And if we press Alt M, we can see how long the material list has gotten here. In the event that you are using a different type of display or you wanting to adjust the length of these menus that you're seeing inside of Alt M, if we press Q and go under settings, under the preferences, there is an area where you can choose how many objects show up in this list. So I will change this to something like five. And if we were to press Alt M, notice that you are able to have only five showing in this list, which could help if you're trying to navigate a specific type of set. But alternatively, we could press Q, bring up our key maps again, because our key maps are able to be brought up within the add-on itself. And we can just change this to something like, say, 25. And by clicking OK, we can just press Alt M. And now we have all these materials showing in this list, and we'll just create a whole lot more by just duplicating everything and then pressing Alt M and control clicking blank material. And if we look at our list, we see that our list is a lot more manageable, even though we have about 85 materials in our scene here. But that is basically Alt M in a nutshell.